Welcome to my new channel, Game Set Match. This is a channel where I try to tell you all about Linux One and Mainframe. Yes, there is a lot of new things into the Mainframe architecture. So let's start. Today I'm going to show you how you can request a free a virtual server on a Linux One. Yes, you heard me correctly, it is free. So first what you need to do is go to this website. Click on Try Virtual Machine on a Linux One Community Cloud. After you put in all the information, click on Request Trial and you will receive an email to a new website. When you open the link from the email, you come to this page. You see here Home, Virtual Servers and Containers. We are going to create a virtual server, so click on that. As you can see, I have zero virtual servers and I have the ability to create one because my quota is zero of one. Just click on Create. You have to select the type. Uh, the type can be a general or a hackathon. This is not a hackathon, this is just general, so choose that. And then we have to enter our instance details. Just give it a name. I will give it the name SUSE. And the description, SUSE Linux. We want to select or Red Hat or SUSE. For this example, I'm going to use SUSE. You also need to import or create an SSH key to connect to your uh, virtual server. I didn't have one, so we are going to create one. So click on create, give it a beautiful name like my Linux one key. Click on create a new key pair. It gives you the ability to download it. Download it, otherwise you cannot log into your server. And you cannot download it later, so you have to download it here. So not open it, but save it. So after you created the key, you click on the key you just created. You see an overview at the bottom and you can click on create. You see your quota go from 0 to 1 and it is created for you. This will take up to about 1 or 2 minutes. In the meantime you can check the details here at the side. You can see already what you have. I waited for about 2 minutes and I refreshed the page and it is active. So as we can see, we are using the user Linux1. We use the key my Linux1 key and we use this IP address. So let's start a terminal. Terminal. I'm already in my download directory. Only thing I needed to do is SSH to my virtual machine. SSH minus I and then the key. So my Linux1 key. Then the user Linux1 at the IP address and press enter. I have to say yes here because of the fingerprint. Uh, you should say that it will open the connection but it is not working. It is because I'm using macOS and macOS didn't give the right permissions to the file I just downloaded. So we have to change that. Chase mod 600 and then the key. So my Linux one. After you change it, you can SSH again to the server. And as you can see, we are now on my Linux One server. Let's clear the screen. Let's see how much space we got. I can see we've got 50 gig, which we can use. Let's install some software. But first, let's see if we are really on a Linux One system. LS CPU will give us a little bit more of information about that. Ah, as you see, you can see your architecture S390X, and you can see uh, the machine type is 2964. You can look that up on the internet by searching on IBM 2964. You can see what kind of machine it is. And we can see it will use an hypervisor ZVM. So, really uh, a mainframe. Let's install some software. Let's clear the screen. What I really like to do is to install Node-RED because it's a little bit of programming. We have to use sudo for that because otherwise it will not run. Use zipper to install uh, applications. We have to install npm. So let's do that. Yes, I really like to do that. So now we have installed npm, but we also have to install Node-RED, also with sudo. npm install minus g minus minus save minus perm Node-RED. What we now can do is we can start Node-RED and we can go to that website to see if it's really working. Node-RED start. We can see the server is running on localhost 1880. So let's go to the website. Let's see if we can connect to that website. As you can see, we have no connection. That is because the Linux is really protected. So the firewall is really closed. Only the SSH port is open for 
this machine. So we have to open that. So let's go back to the terminal. I can see no red is still running, so we have to put that in the background. So let's use Control Z and then put it in the background. So it's still running, but now it's running in the background. What we can do is we can add some extra rules to the IP table so we can go to the website. It's also sudo IP tables minus I. So input minus P. TCP, D port, and now our, our port 1880 minus G accept. So now we added this to the IP table. So now we should go to the website. So let's do a refresh here and let's see what happened. As you can see, I have Node-RED running now. So I'm really happy. I hope you're happy with my first video about the mainframe and free software because everybody likes free software and hopefully see you next time. Okay, bye.